So, the population of elk was measured to be 12,000 in 2003. I'm gonna take some notes here. Hold on. So, I got my year and I've got my population. It's always good to jot down the important information as you're reading a problem. So, in the year 2003, the population was 12,000 and was measured again in 2007 to be 15,000. Uh, if the population continues to grow linearly at this rate, what will the population be in 2014? Or in other words, if we go all the way out to 2014 here, what is my population going to be? So, we're working with a linear model here. So, we know that we're either looking at a recursive model that looks like this, or an explicit model that looks like this. Uh, in both cases, to come up with the model, we would need to know p0, the initial or starting population, and the common difference. So, it doesn't really matter which, which model we use. And so, we're gonna use the explicit model because it's just generally the easier one to work with, uh, for, for this type of growth. Now, we need p0, and p0 implies the population after zero years. But we probably don't want to go all the way back to literally year zero, 2,000 years ago, uh, cause who knows how many elk there were back then. And so we're going to simplify our problem by defining n not to be the number of years, uh, literally, but we're gonna define n to be the number of years, the number of years after 2003. And so we're gonna add a new column here for n. So, how many years after 2003 is 2003? Why, it's zero years after 2003. How many years after 2003 is 2007? It's four years later. And then, uh, 2014 would be, what's the difference there? 11 years. Uh, so that would be 11 years after uh, 2003. And so by defining, um, our n in this way, then this tells me that the population in, when n is zero, or in other words, in the year 2003, is 12,000. And this is telling me that the population four years later, when n is four, is 15,000. Now, one of the problems we're running into here is that, uh, we don't know what the common difference is right off the bat. So we need to figure out how much the population was growing by each year. So we can say here that the population changed by, or the population increased by, increased by how much? Well, it increased by the difference between 15,000 and 12,000, or in other words, it increased by 3,000. Got one too many zeros there. Uh, oop, now I got one too few. Uh, so it increased by 3,000, uh, but it did that over four years. And so the average increase, and when we're talking about linear growth, we can talk about average increase, is 3,000 elk over the course of four years. And that gives us an average increase of 750 elk per year. And that is the value that we need for our growth equation. This is our value for d. Now, if you think back to your algebra classes in the past, you might recognize this as the slope of the linear equation. This is that same value that you would have called m, probably, back in your algebra classes. So given that now, we can write our explicit equation as pn equals p0 plus 750n, right? Because d is 750, and now I can make my prediction. My number of elk after 11 years will be 12,000 plus 750 times 11 which I can calculate out to be 20,250 elk in 20,000, uh, sorry, 2014.